I'm Eric Nasa with NewShooter.com, and I want to show you some samples that I used the Slypod with from Moza. So here is the over the top. Now this is a fun shot because if you use a traditional slider, this is not a simple setup. You have to reverse your slider, you have to mount it somehow, and well, it could be a little bit messy. With the Slypod, it is so easy. You basically just get it up on the tripod and have the camera facing down and go. Now here is the dolly shot. This one is really probably my favorite and the most common that I like to use. It's very smooth. It even has somewhat of a smooth start as well, which is kind of surprising. You can adjust the speed with the app or by pressing the buttons on the slide. I really do like those pushes and pulls. They're smooth, have a very well dolly-like look to them because, well, because it is a dolly move. Here is using the Moses slide pod as a traditional slider from left to right, right to left. You get that very smooth action. And again, you can adjust the speed using the plus and minus buttons on the slide pod or just use the app as well. One thing I was surprised by is how easy the slide pod is to move around. Unlike a slider, which can be a bit cumbersome, the slide pod is approximately 24 inches long when not extended. Fully extended, you can add 11 more inches. So basically, your move, your dolly move or your slide, will be an 11 inch slide. The vertical slide is also another option. If you want to move like this, you have to use yet another piece of gear, like a jib. These samples are a small part of the review that I did on NewShooter.com, so make sure go to the site and check out my full hands-on review.